Hey guys, today we're going to be making, um, so this one here, dough balls and quick garlic dip. Um, this is Slim and Roll recipe guys. Two seconds guys. Sorry about that, right. So, First I'm going to do the sauce so make it, I can put it back in a tub and then I can put it in the fridge. So we're going to do the sauce and then we'll do the dough afterwards. So it says here, some of these ingredients I don't have so I'm going to try it without. Um, because some of them is like I'm on a budget so um, using, so I can all the top bit because that's the dough. Um, making it just right so mix 200 quart so here we go so when you get the quark there's 250 guys in this so i've got a pair of scales so i'm going to turn you down guys so you guys can see what i'm doing here so you can see what i'm doing instead of looking at my face all the time guys so obviously my scales are here it's already on grams guys just so you know um I'm just taking the quark. Let me just get a spoon, guys. So we got a spoon and just my quark, guys. Um, so obviously you need to put 200 grams in here. So this is like cheese. So that's just over. So I'm just gonna take some out, guys. So basically this is just like fat free cheese that you're putting in here. So it's like two grams over that I do. Um, so I'm going to get rid of the rest because it runs out today, today, today guys. I kept forgetting I've been ill. So um, that's why I'm making this as my recipe today. Um, so and then you need 200 grams of this. This um, So this is fat free natural fromage free you need 200 grams of this guys so take the lid off just gonna put that on there right so i'm gonna put it back to zero guys and then i'm gonna put 200 of this in Right, so it's 205 but it will do right so we've done that then it says to add put that to one side it then says to add um one crushed garlic which is i don't ever buy garlic and crush it up so i just buy this like lazy form stuff um from the shop so you basically take a small spoon guys if you buy so if you're but actually crushing the garlic, you need just one clove. Um, so obviously I've got this lazy stuff. So you take one, like small spoon here, guys. We like garlic really bad, so this is how much I'm putting in. You can put less in if you're not a garlic as garlic you think. So then it says add two finely chopped spring onions. Which is, I don't have, guys, I don't have any in, so we're not putting them in. Um, then it says add a teaspoon of this malt vinegar, guys. So, mine's actually got, because my mum, this is, I have when my mum comes over, it's the only reason I've got in. So, but it actually just says cider vinegar, so I'm going to try it with this vinegar instead, guys. Um, so mine actually has a little thing in it, so. so I can see mine has a top thing, so I just push mine in. So you put that in. Um, then it says add seasoned salt. So I'm going to add sea salt coarser thing I have here. So... I don't want that one. Do I? I've not actually opened this yet, guys. Look. 
Crafty with Shagrass. Um, it has a little top here. I have these in a roller set. If you've watched my vlogs, you'll see. So I just need to take this off somehow. I did have some more of this somewhere, but I can't quite find it. So, um, and because it's getting late, I just want to get this done, guys, for the night, so I can have my dinner. So I'm just gonna put that back on. So now it's gotten on, and I've just flipped it over. Um, because I had some that you could actually ground down a bit more, but it doesn't matter. I can't get my lid back on. So I'm just trying to get the lid on, guys. There we go, right, I've got the lid on. So these things actually carry two holes. You've got a big hole, and then you've got an even smaller hole, guys. Well, actually, sorry, that's the bigger hole <laughs> in there. Um, so I want the smaller holes. So I'm just gonna add a bit of that in when it comes out. Am I doing this right? Yeah, there we go, guys, it's coming out now. You won't be able to see it because it's white. So I'm gonna put this back on my little wheel here, guys. There we go. Um, then it says add, add a bit of fresh. So I got some cheap black pepper here. So I'm trying to make this as cheap as possible for you guys to make as well. Um, Cause some people are on a budget, like I'm on a budget right now. Right, so I'm just gonna put a bit of that in. Like I'm on a proper budget right now, like. <laughs> so, um, so then, um, And then you basically just mix it up guys so um some people might preferably like want to add some garlic like i love garlic and my family love garlic so you might want to add some garlic to yours guys so so that is what you do for the sauce guys and then you just basically put it in the fridge until you have to use it so i'm gonna get a little tub Oh, let's see, guys. So, I got one of my pink tubs here, guys, um, to put it in. tasting funny so right so that's all in there guys so I just tasted that and I add more garlic <laughs> literally I add more garlic guys so I'm gonna put it in the fridge for now, like this, and then I'll add some more garlic one at a time. Right, so I'm just gonna be back in a minute, guys. I'll be back with you guys in a minute because I'm gonna get this stuff for the pizza dough and I'm gonna show you how to make that, guys. That's the right, guys. You're gonna have to excuse me if I have to go back and get some more ingredients because it's quite lost of what I actually need. So we're going to put it on zero here, and the first thing you need to do is put the flour. Now most people would sieve the flour. We're not going to sieve the flour, we're just going to pull it in, guys, okay? So you need 125 grams of flour. So, sorry guys, it's strong bread flour. So I actually have it written on here because I saved it in the tub. So 125 grams, guys. Um, so we've got 125 grams um, of the flour. You then put in seven grams of yeast, guys. So I thought if I leave my camera the way it is now, you can see what I'm doing there. Um, so we've got some yeast. So we're gonna put in seven grams, guys, which shouldn't be that much. Okay. We're not even on a gram yet. 
Oh, one, two grams, three grams, four, five, six, where's six? Oh, no, six, there's six. Seven, right. So there's seven grams in there, guys, of yeast. That was quite a lot of yeast. Um, um, one tablespoon of salt. So I'm just going to use my sea salt again, guys, and just not in, put a bit in there. It made no difference at all. <laughs> it just tastes nicer. So that's my dose. Don't forget this is Slimming World Base, guys. Um, so this is actually said it's three sins per servings. Um, so the base, so this is much as for four servings. So also I'm not gonna eat all this. Um, so then you, I'm gonna change this to meals, guys. Um, so I went and got my water earlier. This is actually warm water, guys. Just put it in front for you guys to see. This is warm water right now, guys. So you put 75 mils of water in here. Mistake. I have a bit more flour, so add more flour. There we go. I'm like a couple over, but that would do. Um, so then it says more well, mix with a wooden spoon until soft on my gold spoon, guys. Only a little bit of mixture, who cares? <laughs> so I'm gonna move the scales out of the way over here and make sure they go. So I'm just mixing it up, guys. Which is, you might well just get your hands probably in there. Now, it says put flour on the surface and roll it out. I'm not going to do that because this is going to be into little dough balls. So, obviously I need a bit more water there, guys. So, I'm just going to add a bit more. So... I need to mix this up, guys. Right, there we go. So, I've mixed it up, and as you can see, it's already rising, guys. It's rising on its own. Um, so... I need the bowl now, so let me just. I'm sorry if I go a bit quiet, guys. I'm just reading the instructions for this because I've never done this yet. That was not meant to happen. Um, so we don't need the bowl anymore, guys. Put that in the sink. <laughs> right, so we're left with our dough, obviously. Um, I'm gonna put a bit of flour on because it is a bit wet right now. If I can actually use the tub. So I'm going to take a bit of flour and just like knead it out like it says actually to make the base. If you were making pizza bases, but I'm not making a pizza base, I'm just doing it to make the balls. So just knead it, guys, until it's stopped. Sticking to your hands is the best bet. my hands <laughs> right that will do for now right because otherwise I've got a too flowery and then it's not quite nice so I'm just gonna wash my hands guys wash my hands um so that's all you have to do on the pizza dough recipe like if you're making a piece of dough which you'll see on another one 
um, at some point um, because I'm going to make a pizza at some point. Um, but at the moment I'm making the, the dough quick balls and quick garlic dip. So we're going to try and move this recipe away now guys. Um, I'm not going to bring the tray in so I'm just going to move this bit of dough out of the way. So I can get rid of this flour. Over to one side for now. Yeah, just get rid of this. Right, so we're gonna bring in the tray now, guys. I just wanna get rid of that flour in here. Right, so now that we've done the dough, it says um put your fan on as well. So if you've got an electrical oven, guys, which is what I have in the background here, um you put the electric ovens on um 180. I think, yeah, and a gas oven on 200. So I'm gonna put mine on 180, guys, why not? So, um, 180 there. Well, mine goes up to like 190, you have to do just before. Um, so then, guys, um, then use your new hand. So, you're supposed to be able to turn this into 24 dough balls, so I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to try. <laughs> um, so I think it's just like it's that shape dough, so I'm going to do that now. Just make some dough balls up, guys. So I'm going to make all these into little dough balls, and then I'm back with you guys. Right guys, so we did them as best as I can. Let me fold this down so you guys can see. So there's two, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. There's sixteen, there's half. Like they're probably supposed to be smaller, so they're probably gonna go I don't know how big they're gonna go because this is the first time I'm doing them. So they probably might go bigger than that, so I just have to cut it up once it's done, guys. So the next thing it says is on a baking tray and spray with light so I forgot my lightweight calorie spray so I'm just gonna get that um because I'm making my garlic balls I've got fried light butter on here guys so you're just gonna spray them on here I've got some left <laughs> yeah. spray them probably not supposed to spray them as much <laughs> um spray Sprinkle over crushed garlic. Now, I got this garlic salt for this because then I thought I'd spread it more. So I'm just gonna. Oops. That was not supposed to happen. So. I just used quite a bit of that. I like garlic, so. Um, so, let me just put. That is really garlicky. So, if you want garlic, garlic, guys, I'd advise getting this garlic salt. Pure, fully bomb idea, part of the most savory thing to do it. Right, so if I advise you like really garlic and want this, um, it's garlic salt. Um, then some rosemary, you're supposed to chop rosemary just to make it look posh, but we're not gonna bother with that. Um, so we're gonna skip the crushed garlic like this, guys. Um, and I, I don't like hot paprika, so I've got smoked paprika here, guys. Um, I'm gonna put over the top. Okay. Right, so I've done my topping, and you actually, I actually need that salt back. <laughs> um, and then it says add a bit of salt, so just add a bit of salt onto. Maybe the other salt would have been better for this, but I'll, um, on that. So maybe it just looks like a bunch of mess, guys. Um, so that's that. Um, then it says put it in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. So I'm just going to put it in the oven now, guys, and I'll be back with you guys in 10 to 12 minutes when they're cooked. Hey, guys, I'm back. Right, now this is how they turn up, guys. Um, so they're quite hot right now. <laughs> but um, I'm just going to go and get the sauce out of the fridge that I made. So, if you were doing it for a party, guys, you could have a plate 
and you could have your sauce pot. Um, so I did add more garlic to this, guys. So I'm just gonna get a spoon and just make sure it's definitely mixed and put a spoon on here, guys, to try. Um, so I'm just going to take one of the balls and I'm going to lift you guys up now so you can see if I'm trying now. So I think I'll take a smaller one actually to start off with. So if I take this one here, I'm just going to use my fingers guys. So all the dough's down the middle there. I'm going to try it without. Definitely nice. Definitely nice season. So I'm gonna try it with the sauce. Definitely guys. The sauce definitely with that extra garlic it if you really like garlic, I advise you to put more garlic in than what the recipe says. So I went ahead and add puree, you know you can get garlic puree from stores. I went ahead and I did that into there, or just a puree garlic into it to make it much nicer. Um, if you're not a garlic garlic fan, don't do that. Um, but it definitely gives that nice kick of garlic to it. Um, but five out of five, guys. This is a perfect recipe for a quick, easy. Why was it melting again? <laughs> I forgot where I put the thing. Oh, here you go. Found it, guys. <laughs> um. This is definitely a 5 out of 5 recipe for doughy balls and quick garlic dip, guys. 5 out of 5. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Sorry my face went on mostly, but I'm mostly showing you what it's um, like and how to make it. So, 5 out of 5, guys. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.